Well, we are right now experiencing mostly cloudy conditions, but temperatures are not too bad for your Sunday night as you are headed to bed. Those temperatures are only into those upper 70s. A few of us hitting those low 70s where we saw a little bit of rain earlier in Mount Vernon and even a severe thunderstorm warning just outside of our viewing area. So I te expect temperatures to cool into those low or mid to low 70s, especially by the six o'clock hour as we start to experience that rainfall and I'm expecting storms to start to move in after about midnight. But tomorrow morning, if you're headed out the door for your bus ride to school, I think temperatures are going to be into those mid 70s and I'm expecting showers to, to end by about the nine o'clock hour. A few of them may linger behind the cold front, but overall definitely bring a jacket out for tomorrow morning as it will be a rainy start to your day. And it will also probably be a loud evening for most of us here in Southern Illinois. So we are expecting those strong to severe thunderstorms that are going to be possible for tonight. Rain will be lingering behind the cold front, but not for very long. And then behind that cold front, I'm expecting milder temperatures to move through the region. So we're going to be experiencing temper highs only into the mid 70s come Tuesday right now. But as you can see, that warm front is off towards the north and we are on the warm side of this cold or uh, warm side of this warm front, I should say. And here's our center of low pressure system. And this is our cold front that's going to be sliding off towards the east that will be bringing us our chance of some thunderstorms overnight tonight. But if we zoom in again, that shower activity that we saw earlier has moved out of the region, but there are a few showers here in southern Illinois, but overall things are very isolated in terms of shower activity at this hour. But again, that will be changing as that warm front has now passed off towards the north. And you can see by 2 a.m. we're going to start to see this line of thunderstorms down in the Poplar Bluff area start to slide off towards the east and either any of these individual cells off towards the north could also be on the strong to severe side and the main threats with these are going to be strong winds, damaging hail and also a few brief tornadoes cannot be entirely ruled out with these storms. But by 8 a.m. I think most of us are going to be done. But as I was talking about, we do have those lingering showers behind that that main line. But as that cold front starts to pass, we can start to see some clearing back towards the west and it will be slowly clearing off as we approach the seven o'clock hour tomorrow afternoon. I'm only expecting those temperatures to be into those low to mid 70s. So it's going to be very nice and a lot less humid for your Monday afternoon and also for your Tuesday and your Wednesday. But before we get there, we do have to deal with our level two risk of severe weather for most of us, including all of Western Kentucky, Southwestern Illinois and parts of Southeastern Missouri. Further off towards the west, we do have that level three risk for a uh, for severe weather. And again, those main threats are going to be damaging will damaging winds, large hail, and also a brief tornado cannot be ruled out with the strongest of those storms. So again, tonight is a night to remain weather aware. And if you do get a emergency alert for either severe th for severe thunderstorms or for tornadoes, go ahead and go to the basement on is a preferred, but we can also go to the lowest floor, the lowest floor of our homes and into the most interior portion of your house. So again, download that Storm Track 3 app and that will give you the latest severe weather information. And in addition to that, we do have that medium risk of flash flooding for most of us and a high risk back towards the west where we could see more thunderstorms developing. So again, the weather service has gone ahead and given us a flood watch. This goes this went into effect at 10 o'clock and will be with us until Monday morning sometime. So again, we could see one to two inches of rain Rainfall across much of our region with two inches in Fredericktown, one and three quarter inches in Harrisburg and Carbondale, and a little bit less towards the south and north. But overall, we've already experienced so much rainfall that the Weather Service has felt it necessary to go ahead and issue us that flash flood watch. So again, temperatures after that cold front passes are going to be into those lower or mid 70s, I should say, on Tuesday, Wednesday, again, upper 70s. But the, because it is August, those temperatures are going to rebound very quickly into the low 90s, especially by next weekend. Yeah, some of those kids aren't going to like going back to school with some possible rain in the morning. No, <laughs> definitely a night to remain weather aware and also make sure to bring jackets and rain gear to school on Monday morning. And I know we got the Storm Track 3 covering the team covering that for us. Thank yes. you, Garrett.